Contact Denver 7 is getting results tonight for some Taylor Swift fans who bought tickets on StubHub for one of her Denver shows. Well, weeks later, they learned they didn't have tickets after all. And when these Swifties couldn't get answers from StubHub, they reached out to our consumer investigator, Jacqueline Allen. Are you a Swifty? I am definitely a Swifty. Hannah Ostertag and her sister are huge Taylor Swift fans. Hey Steven, I know looks can be deceiving, but I know I saw a lot in you. <laughs> but she thought they'd never get tickets to the Eras tour. The page, you know, just froze and froze and froze, reloaded, all of that. Little did they know their mom had saved and saved to help buy tickets on the resale marketplace. The concert's at Empower Field in Denver on July 15th. Hannah bought the tickets on StubHub last month after fees paying $1,900. But a few weeks later, StubHub sent an email that the seller has reported an issue. The tickets were actually for the wrong day, and Hannah's sister had already booked a flight. Enter StubHub's Fan Protect Guarantee. They not only guarantee comparable tickets, but they guarantee that they'll give you better tickets uh, and do anything in their power to do that. that. That's the words they told me. But even though plenty of tickets are still listed for this concert on StubHub, you know, this is the same section I'm in. Every time Hannah tries the link provided for alternate tickets, it shows either nothing available or seats behind the stage. My tickets are down here in 504, and the tickets that they were offering me were over here in the final section of the, that's in a completely obstructed view. It'd be different if I was going on the website and seeing, okay, you're right, nothing's available. But I was sitting there saying, I could in theory go buy tickets right now, so why aren't these being offered to me? Hannah says when StubHub blamed its algorithm, she reached out to contact Denver 7. Will your legislation help prevent this from happening in the future? Yes, that is the intent. And so. We found a larger issue. State Representative Mark uh, Baisley co-sponsored a consumer protection bill First, that will prevent ticket resellers from selling tickets they don't actually have. The prices are set by the venue and the performer in an attempt to certainly be profitable, but also to make it available to their fans. If you let it go out of control with the reseller class, those tickets uh, just go to just the more wealthy people, and that's not what they want. Baisley says StubHub opposed the bipartisan measure now on the governor's desk. Honestly, I hate to admit this, but it's true. Like, I've lost sleep over it. Right? For many, this isn't just about a Taylor Swift concert. It's about time, money, and feeling powerless. It's really a situation where we're just letting our corporations be really greedy and at the end of the day, it's robbing consumers and just true fans the opportunity to get to go to events like this and support the artists that they want to support. We have an update now. After we started making calls, StubHub released this statement. The StubHub Fan Protect Guarantee is in place to protect buyers. It ensures that a ticket buyer will get in the door, and if any issue occurs, we'll find an equivalent or better ticket or provide a full refund. But our priority is always to get our customers in the door. In Ms. Ostertag's case, we have provided better replacement tickets to make good on this promise. I spoke to Hannah and she is happy with these tickets and she still thinks it's important to share her experience to make sure fans have a voice. We have more on what StubHub is doing for Taylor Swift fans and for other tickets on Denver7.com. For Contact Denver 7, I'm Jacqueline Allen.